I have meditating now for um, two and a half years. I started from about July 2018. I have never been a very a calm person, a person who you would call a meditator. Uh, it wasn't something that came natural to me. But I think that one of the biggest um, obstacles for people to start meditating is that they think that they need to be someone or they need to achieve a, you know, a, a state of mind uh, that, you know, means, you know, floating in the forest or, um, you know, becoming like a monk, monk in a cave or um, that they need to stop all the thoughts that they need to, you know, that there is kind of an end goal. And what I've learned by meditating each day for the last two and a half years that, is that meditation is just another tool that we can uh, utilize to uh, get ourselves uh, out of whatever um, messy place that sometimes we get ourselves to. Uh, it's the exercise of the mind, you know, in the same way as we dedicate ourselves to you know, exercising our bodies, this is, um, is the, the, the tool that we use to exercise our minds. There is no end goal. There is no um, a, a perfect, um, you know, state of mind that you need to achieve. There is no prize. There is no competition. Um, it's just is. It's just is. Another tool that you can utilize on your day-to-day -day basis and slowly um, you can feel different things, uh, different, um, di different things um, in your you know, normal life when you are actually not meditating and different things when you are actually meditating. Um, for me, it has been um, absolutely incredible. Uh, to um, really meditate each day for the last two and a half months. And when I look back at the person that I was before meditation, meditation and the person I am today, um, meaning uh, how I react to things, uh, it's vastly different. And I couldn't have done that just by eating healthily and exercising. You know, there is all to do with my meditation practice. Um, I was at the, a, a beginner. I had never meditated. I started meditating with free apps and I paid for Headspace. Uh, by saying this, I don't get anything out of Headspace. Um, I, you know, I'm just talking about the things that I know and that I have done myself like I always do. Um, I wouldn't ask you to do anything other than I did. Um, and, you know, when it comes to meditation, I started meditating five minutes a day. Um, then, then I moved on to maybe 10 minutes, but I stayed in that space for a very long time, maybe a year or so. These days I meditate for 45 minutes each morning. And if I can, um, if, when I look at my meditation practice, it's a very, very sacred to me. It's something that I miss when I don't do it. Um, you know, especially if I don't do it the whole 45 minutes, uh, if I have to do a shorter meditation for some reason, uh, it, it is a, a practice that I feel that influences my life each day. So again, if I, for some reason, you know, I can't do it, I feel on that particular day that I haven't done it. Um, and it's something that it doesn't come as a chore anymore. It's not something that I have to force myself to do it. It's something that I, I really look forward to do it. Um, the other day I was telling my husband that it's probably one of the times that I look forward the most in my day, and uh, which he was quite surprised about it. But this is the, the truth. So, you know, don't, I think, you know, if, if meditating is something that you want to incorporate in your life, I think the most important thing is to take out all of the expectations of how this is going to go and how this should go or how you what you need to do. You know, each person is different. Each meditation is different. And I think that um, 
you know, what you can do if you want to experience with meditation is showing up to yourself for five minutes, 10 minutes a day uh, and really start noticing the effects by doing that. Um, and like I said, it is a practice that you do daily. It's not something that you just do it once and then you get the benefits. It's something that you do continuously each day in the same way as you go to the gym each day uh, if you want to have a fit body um, and if you want to eat healthily to have a fit body, you know, as soon as you stop doing that, you know, you lose all the benefits for doing that. So um, just, you know, have a think about, you know, take off all the pressure and all the expectation and just really um, focus on showing up to yourself as something that you just do as your kind of daily self-care. So today I thought we'll do, uh, you know, five to 10 minutes max meditation. Um, then we're just going to try to focus on, um, on, on being present and fully present in our bodies. So let's just... Let's just start by sitting in a comfortable position. Uh, if you can just close your eyes and, and really find this comfortable position where your spine is straight. You know, so you're not completely, um, you know, relaxed. There is some awareness in your body. And there is some you know, you find a balance in, in that um, feeling of, you know, not being completely relaxed and, and being awake and aware. You can rest your hands on your knees if you're cross-legged. And just take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. And one last time, inhale fully. And exhale. Slowly coming back to your normal breath. Again, keeping some awareness around your posture. You want to feel that you are not uncomfortable. But you want to feel that You are also somewhat feeling your body and noticing how your body feels. So just for the purpose of bringing our attention to our bodies, we're just gonna start massaging our feet. Slowly. And just noticing the touch on our feet. Noticing how it feels on your feet when you touch your feet and you massage your feet. Maybe it's uncomfortable, maybe it hurts, or maybe it just feels nice. Just moving on to your ankles. Again, just really focusing on the touch. Or how it feels in your body. Really being present in your body. Slowly touching your knees and your thighs. And focusing on being present 
in your body. Slowly moving on to your tummy. To your hands, your fingers. And if your mind is pulling you away from being present, that is totally fine. Just come back to the feelings and the sensations of touching your body and your arms now and being fully present. Now slowly resting your hands onto your knees. And now focusing on your breath. As if you were inhaling a little bowl of light all the way down to your belly. a little bowl of energy, keep focusing on inhaling this beautiful bowl of white light and energy. Add a focus on the movement from your nose all the way down to your belly. Or you can focus on this little boy of light, just irradiating light from your belly all over your body. Keep breathing in and breathing out. Staying present in your body, within you. Keep focusing on going within. And allow yourself to feel the connection to go within yourself. Now I want you to focus in and noticing how your body feels. Maybe there is some pain somewhere, some discomfort. Or maybe you just feel relieved that you are sitting here and allowing yourself to spend some time with you. Or maybe you're feeling anxious about the next thing that you want to do. Just allow whatever sensation, whatever feeling to come through. And notice how it feels in your body. Gently taking a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth.
Allow yourself to feel relaxed. And it's still connected to your body. Taking one more deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Slowly bringing your hands to your heart. In prayer position. Taking one last deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Bringing both hands to the third eye. Namaste. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Hopefully this is really helpful. I would love to hear your comments um, and, you know, how you you felt. Uh, you know, sometimes this could be your first time trying meditation, but I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you guys um, next week. Take care.